One thing to watch for in particular when you're making cards that you're going to be sharing with other people is how you insert images into cards. Um, because if I just simply drag an image from a website or from my hard drive, I'll show you what happens. Inky includes it well enough, uh, but the name that it uses, I'll go into the underlying HTML, for the image is the original image name from the website or from your hard drive. And that might be fine, um, but in this case we've got brain.jpg. And so it's quite possible that someone else that I'm collaborating with will also have incorporated an image into their card, which is named brain.jpg. And so then when I import those cards, it's probably going to overwrite or maybe keep the image that I have and rather than replacing it with theirs or it might replace theirs with mine. And so the way to avoid that is to uh, use unique names. So add your initials or something to any images you have on your hard drive that you're wanting to use. Or if you're trying to take an image from a website or some other um, medium, use a screen capture tool. And I showed um, how to use a screen capture tool in an earlier video on using images. But you'll see that what happens when I use that, I'll delete this image and paste the one that I've just taken from the screen capture. That image will now be assigned a unique identifier. So there's no risk of there being a clash with another image that's brought in from a deck made by another person.